Hi, this is part one of my Black Widow build log series. In these videos I'm going to be showing you all the modifications that I'm going to be doing to my Tevo Black Widow 3D printer and showing the progress in between. In today's video I'm going to be I'm going to start by showing you all the modifications that I've already done to the 3D printer and then start working on the new control box that I'm going to have to build to fit everything I have. First modification that I've done is I've got a custom enclosure built and I've securely mounted the 3D printer to the enclosure. Also I've got a glass bed. I changed the hot hand fan with a Noctua fan. I also added a layer fan which is another Noctua 40mm fan. Also got a little cable organizer t modification done and also got a spool holder on the top. And this is the enclosure that I put the 3D printer in. And these are the things that I changed with the electronics. First of all, I changed the power supply with a Meanwell PSP 624 power supply. And highly recommend you change your power supply as well since the stock one tends to explode. I also swapped the drivers with TMC2100 drivers. I'm going to have a video showing you how to use these drivers from China properly. I also got an M MKS TFT32 as a screen, but I just use it as a screen, I don't use it as a controller. Mainly because I have a Raspberry Pi, which I is running Octop Octoprint. And also got a relay board to control the power supply. I also have these box converters doing various things, but I'll talk about them in more detail later. So this is the all the progress that I've done so far. I just cut the bottom plate of the enclosure and that's pretty much about it. Now I will begin to work on the rest of the parts for the control box. I've cut few of the parts now and this is just one of them. I've done a few more. Now I'm going to paint this and going to show you all, all the parts that I've cut. And here are they painted. I'm just going to mount this and show you the parts that I've done for today. I'm not going to be able to do the entire control box unfortunately because I've run out of time. This is the parts that I painted, I just assembled them. I only mounted the fans and the power supply, I haven't mounted any of the electronics since uh, things may change while I'm working on it. I know this is a bit larger but this is the only way I'm going to be able to fit everything I want to fit inside this box. So this is where the main board is going to go, the MKS Gen 1.4 board that also got the drivers on. This is where the MOSFET board is going to go and it's this board. I also have this weird looking plate that I'm go go going to mount the Raspberry Pi and the relay board, basically these two boards on. I ran out of space downstairs so I had to do like a weird looking plate. Uh, I'm going to be mounting the screens in front of the uh, control box. I'm going to be 3D printing a case for this. I don't have that. That's why I didn't show it. I still haven't figured out a way of mounting these but I have enough space so I'll figure it out over time while I'm working on it. This is the back side of the control box. This hole is where the cables will come out of the enclosure. I'll have a power switch here. This power switch. I'm also having going to have the plug for the mains outlet here. So that's it for this part of the work lock. I'll continue the work on this next week. I'm going to upload a new part every Friday. So hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please like. Uh, otherwise, thanks for watching.